the horse for me is, is my missing piece. And it satisfies my wish to trust and my wish to be trusted. As a horse and rider, you have to have worked on your relationship. It's a relationship of mutual trust. So you need to have made your questions to your horse very clear, but without any form of abuse. I have a triangle of trust which I've taught for about 50 years and I've only just put it into words what it is. And my feeling is that the first line of the triangle is the hardest to draw, and that is the horse learning to trust you. And once he learns to trust you, he can then trust himself. And when he trusts himself, you can trust him. When I'm riding, harmony means there needs to be trust, empathy, confidence, mutual understanding between us. It's so important with young horses to build their confidence. You know, that's what the training's all about, getting them to totally trust you, getting them to realise that you're never going to put them in a position that's not possible for them to get through without hurting themselves. Again, it comes back to this, this trust, this, this trust of the, um, this trust of their rider, actually, this trust of, of, of us to, to allow them to take a breath and say, I don't know what that is, but you're here, so I'm sure it'll be okay. For them to trust you, you to trust them, you have to find a new language. And I think that is probably something that's extraordinary. And I think that we have to work at it. And you have to find this way of, of communication. And when you achieve it, it's just magical. I think it varies as to the amount of time that it takes to build up trust and confidence with a new horse, um, and also how good a rider you are. Sometimes you might want to suppress things so that he doesn't get overwhelmed by the environment. But fundamentally for me, the end goal is to, to teach him that he can trust me in those environments and that he, doesn't, that he doesn't need to worry about the extra noises or the moving people around tables and, and stuff like that. But it takes time. You know, it's also alien for them at the start and it takes years and years of work together and trust and just exposing them to those environments for them to realise that, that it doesn't matter. I'm always asked, every year, I'm always asked when I walk the course at badminton, how on earth do you train these horses to jump these ridiculously big fences? And you come back five years, there's a tiny log on the ground and the horse goes to that and it wobbles and, it, and it's terrified and it says, I can't possibly go near that. And it steps over it because you've said, come on, it's okay. And when it lands the other side, it said, you said it was okay, and it was. Okay, I, I trust you a little bit more than I did before. That log gradually gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's jumping into the lake at Badminton. And it's gradual, step by step, um, building up their confidence. So in the end, you know, I always feel that, that when you have lucky enough to have a top level horse, they'll do anything for you. If you educate them in the right way and it's always a positive experience, then they learn to love it. And it genuinely is, you know, their fate, some of their favorite parts of what they do is going cross country, galloping, you know, through these amazing parks and competitions that we have. That is all because they've been taught it in a way that they learn to love their job. Just understanding that actually it's a team. And uh, for me, the best way to get a horse to work with us. I, I, I believe that they've got to fall in love with us. A horse has got to fall in love with us to really want to do what we, we want them to. We want these horses to do some crazy things and they're not gonna do that if we're forcing the issue. They just, they're half a ton of horse. They're not gonna jump these ridiculously skinny fences or do all this if it's, if it's a fight. It's got to be because they love us and they want to. And you are never going to ask him anything that is unkind or too much, the trust will develop. And there's this feeling of just gliding together, which feels almost telepathic, that you can think things and all of a sudden things start to happen. A harmony to me is that state of just flow when you ask and they understand and you kind of say jump and they say how high and they'd do anything for you. And for me, that is everything. If you don't have that, 
and you don't have trust and you don't have the partnership and the love, then, then there's nothing because they have to want to do it for you. And for me, then, then you have it all if you have that. I think it's all the way through and it's, it's a wonderful thing because sometimes you can't trust people in the way you can trust horses, but you always have to be ready because they can change too. <laughs>